Yeah, great start for Tyler Wright to the semi-final number two. Wrapping cut back to start things off and then extends the line again on the second one. The end section. Now she starts to hook in. A nice layback snap to finish off. So uh, a little conservative in the approach, but very smart surfing at the same time because uh, she's just seen what Carissa Moore's done, putting together a very intelligent heat with some good foundational surfing. Yeah, there's a, a difference, isn't there, between... Um you know, a, a nervous-looking competitor and someone who is really smart. She knew she was onto a pretty good wall, but we'll see if Caroline Marks can, can really push her on the opening exchange here. Good section, couple of hits, gets there nice and early to finish this one off. Ronnie Blakey in the booth with Richie Lovett and Felicity Palmatier. 6.83, good start for Tyler. Great response there for Carol. And this one could be a, a lot closer than some of the other semi-final clashes we've seen. He was seeing a replay of Caroline's opening wave. And, yeah, I mean, she picked a good wave here. Nice first turn, little transition turn, and finished pretty strong there. So she's going to be happy with that. But, I mean, we're just having another look at this turn here. Some nice rail work. Uh, sort of a transition to, transitional turn there and yeah she finishes strong just snap under the lip been strong through the rounds to get the turn done and get out of danger here goes Tyler now live action good looking wall things seem to be improving as Tyler just attacks the bowl there and now loads up for more on the inside gets that turn in early but mistimes it and gets it wrong. That was a big opportunity to bank a solid score and really apply some pressure to Caroline. I love the way she uh, attacked that first section. This first turn here was really nice and I liked where this wave was going. Just so strong and in control. But uh, yeah, just this here, you can see she's just uh, just sort of mistimed that there. And You could see what she wanted to do though, right? Yeah, she yeah. was trying to get up early and just do that big rapid yep. cut back, maybe get the rebound off the foam. And then she just went, oops, I've run out of, run out of road here. And uh, just unfortunately mistimed it. But this turn here, just look how, look how tight the radius is on that little pivoting turn. And now here she's thinking, OK, go for the big wrapping cutback. And then uh, she gets oh, yeah. it up high, loses a bit of turn, momentum and speed. And then uh, all came undone, just dug on the uh, hillside rail. Yeah, here we go. We're having a look at the replay right now. So... Uh Nice second wave here, straight up into the lip and sort of transitioning through this fatter section, but uh, looking to bring it through to the inside. She gets another finishing turn. I, th I think it, it's going to be close. Um, however, if you're Caroline, you're probably stoked. But here we go. I mean, here we go, Tyler, right now, under priority. So she did move to the inside just a little bit, found some space from Caroline who had that priority. And Tyler now looking to make her pay for it. Only needs a 4.5 to get herself back out in front here. Nice finish. Can she get out in front of that white water? Oh, she just got chased down. Let's have a look at what Caroline was able to do on this first section here, Felicity. Yeah, nice first turn there, but that's what I thought when we just saw her kicking out. Maybe just it's just the one turn, the wave run off in front of her. You watch Caroline, you know, Bronte when she was on tour, Tatiana, they have such strong backhands, and they have to. Oh, some movement here on the outside. Good looking wall. Oh, an unbelievable grab rail carve to get started here from the two time world champion. As uh, she now looks to link this one through to the inside, changes up the approach, pressing on those fins, and a glide through a beautiful cutback with a neat rebound. And there's that motivation we touched on, just uh, some real emotion from yeah. Tyler Wright, and that should be a huge score. One thing I liked about this wave, she mixes it up. She has variety here. The way she finishes this wave is really strong. This roundhouse cutty, I mean, you can tell she's pumped. She's loving it. It's good. Yeah, good stuff. And just watch here, the grab rail allows her to get the board really deep on rail on that heel side. See there, she's just so stable right at that moment. Let's go. The eyes get focused on the next section. Again, nice and low on the bottom turn. A beautiful wrap here. Extends the line a little bit longer. And this wave just kept giving. Just snap after snap. Now, this is that turn that she looked to do on the other wave. And she got it done on this one. 
<laughs> Got to the section early enough this time. But live action with Caroline. Looking for a response now. Caroline drives up into the first section. The wave did lay down a little bit, but she's got something here on the inside to work with. Great second turn. Unfortunately, this wave just shuts down before she can get a third hit in. Yeah, that's been fun to watch unfold. But the final for the Western Australia Mugger River Pro is now established for the women. It's going to be long-time rivals Tyler Wright and Carissa Moore battling it out for the event win here at stop number five.